One of the most commonly asked questions about motorcycles here at Wheels Through Time is, what's it worth? Right behind me is our 2023 annual raffle bike and everybody wants to know what's it worth. Today we're gonna be deep diving into all the factors that help establish the value of classic and antique motorcycles. And we're even gonna be looking over some auction results over the last year of very similar models to this bike to see exactly how our 2023 annual raffle bike stacks up. The Harley-Davidson Knucklehead debuted as the model EL in 1936 and was produced for 12 years. It was Harley's first overhead valve twin and the first to have a circulating oil system. The new model was constructed of almost entirely new parts and assemblies and was vastly different than what the motor company had produced to date. Ultra sturdy new double down tube frame, beefier spring fork, all new welded gas tanks and streamlined fenders, the now iconic under the seat horseshoe oil tank, Tank. New style hubs laced to 18 inch rims, and power transmitted to the rear wheel by an all new four speed constant mesh transmission. The all new Art Deco styling was matched only by the motorcycle's performance. When we restore bikes here at the museum, we make sure and take the time and care to ensure that the fit and finish is absolutely perfect and that the bike looks and operates like it would have in its day. I got this machine as a basket case project from Mike Wolf from American Pickers and had all of the parts to put it back together. The moment I bought the bike, I knew right then that I wanted to restore this bike for our 2023 annual raffle and give one of you guys the opportunity to take home a genuine piece of American history. We're gonna fire this thing up in just a bit so you guys can hear it run. Now determining the value of a classic or antique motorcycle like this relies on so many factors. The course, the year, the make, the model of the machine, how it runs and rides, the current condition of the bike and how it sits today, You know, one year only parts, year correct components, what standard equipment was incorporated in the restoration of the motorcycle, and then of course, who did the work. Recently there have been some motorcycles very similar to this roll across the auction block. And we're gonna take a look at some of those bikes and their sale prices and use them as a barometer to see how they stack up against the Wheels Through Time 37 knucklehead. We're gonna see if we can't find some comparables here. See, wow, beautifully restored 1936. So this is a first year knucklehead finished in, what's that, royal buff and gray and $181,000. You know, that's a, a top buck. Late production, 1936. That was at Monterey uh, in 2022. So just over a year ago, this 47 knuckle, 52,800. This one, last year of production, 1947. And it looks like it's got some reproduction parts on it. Uh, exhaust looks new. Uh, primary cover, derby cover, those handlebars are reproduced. Uh, the badges uh, on the gas tanks are new. It's got a later style shifter. I think even that front fender looks like it could be a reproduction. $52,000, pretty solid result. $49,000, almost $50,000 uh, for this 1937 bobber, no front fender. It's dirty, it's grimy, but it's a flathead. It's not even a knucklehead. So the last auction I was at was the Las Vegas motorcycle auction in January, world's biggest antique motorcycle auction. The high buck motorcycle at this auction was the 1908 Strap Tank Harley, one of the most desirable motorcycles on the planet. I would love to have a strap tank here at Wheels Through Time. I remember we were all in the room watching this thing go across the block. The energy was insane. It brought $935,000. Uh, you just don't see stuff like this happen often. To even be in the room when sales like this go down, it's like a feeling, you know, everybody's adrenaline's hitting. Awesome scenario and it actually probably affects prices over the next you know, few auction lots anyway. Here's another one, ah, beautiful. A stellar 1937 Harley Davidson knucklehead sold at Las Vegas 2023. I was there, I remember seeing this bike go across the block. Uh, bike sold for $95,700. Looks like a nice faithful example. Seems like a, a real solid price. One of the reasons that we like to uh, look at these auction results uh, as it really helps us get a barometer of how uh, the market's doing. When you look across all averages, 
Um, usually, uh, you put the, the pieces together and you can get a pretty good idea of where the market's at. So this is a really cool one, 1947. FL Harley Davidson knucklehead. This one's got the sidecar and everything. This is one of my favorite bikes or was one of my favorite bikes at the auction because it was owned by my dad. So uh, particularly cool uh, to see a bike that my dad had his hands on uh, all those years ago go across the auction block and do so well. Our friend Howard Shapiro uh, bought it for my dad in 1989. So really, really neat. Here's a 47 knucklehead, sold at Meekum for 49,000. Another 47, a little bit less at 44,000. So there's a 47 knuckle, 71,000. 36 knuckle, $132,000. One of the scariest things about buying a motorcycle at an auction is you have no idea how it runs. Now, just last week, my friend Sean from Bikes and Beards bought a 1937 knucklehead from the John Parham Estate Auction and paid almost $100,000. We're gonna take a look at it. It's here right now. What I understand is the bike doesn't even run. All right. How you doing? Everything good? Everything's good, man. I got the bike. We're gonna have to look close at we'll it. Look a little closer at it. First thing I'm looking at is it's got the original step hubs on it. Tires are reproduction coker tires. We got another pair of them right here. Correct and proper style wiring. So this has a 37 only frame. It's probably one of the best motorcycles of any point through history to ride. It's, really? Yeah, it is. Once you get on a bike like this, you won't want to get anything else. Wow. Uh, looking at the engine. Oh. This is like 30 away from our raffle bike. No. Yeah, yeah it is. 3,700, 37 EL, know They know each other. They would know each other. They know each other. Come on, man. Let's go check it out. This is the first time I've seen it. Yeah, sit on it, dude. How does it feel? You know, you, right. your bike's got... Flanders bars, yeah. right? Yeah, I got some Flanders on mine. That feels so good. Comfortable. This is nice. Yeah, it's made to be ridden. This is beautiful, man. This is so nice. It feels feels good, too. Just enough chrome. You know, the silver sets it off. But this is the closest thing you're ever going to get to a brand new 1937 knucklehead. You know what I mean? That's a, it's, it's such a such a cool looking bike, man. Yeah, well, I mean, when we draw, too, it's just, you know, we have drawing out in front of uh, the museum. It's a big day here. We probably have a couple thousand people. Uh, Jerry made us this monster raffle drum that we put all the tickets in. We take a kid that's four or five five years old, too young to read. Yeah, right. So I'll throw them in the, the buckets. Oh, you throw them in there? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's, he's, we throw them in there. Oh, that's you know, so fun. And they get in there, swim around, and, and pull one ticket, and the ticket's the winner. That's so, so cool. Yeah. That's again, when is that going on? November 18th this year, it happens, so it's coming up quick. <sighs> well, we got like two more two months. months. Two yeah, more just months. Just under two months. Throwing it out there, can friends, can friends win this? If a friend wins this, are they gonna be like, oh, you're, you're a friend, you're hooking them up. You just won't be my friend anymore. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, if you don't get tickets, you're crazy. Yeah, you know? this, right. You got tickets last time, you may as well get some more. I gotta get tickets this time. So this bike was built around that famous 61 cubic inch knucklehead engine. It's the second year for the Model EL. In 1937, they only made 1,829 EL models. Now, I built the transmission, the four speed to be smooth as butter. First gear to the front, second, third, fourth. This thing shifts absolutely incredible. All new Andrews gears inside the transmission, so they're tough as nails. Now, we went with a curveball, deciding on the paint with this, and finished it out in Harley Davidson custom silver. Of course, that ultra cool gold and silver leaf flying ball decal uh, with hand lettering. I mean, just incredible. So, we built this motor motorcycle for the winner to ride the wheels off the bike. So what we decided to do, we shortened up the fenders in traditional bobber style, just like they were doing in the 1930s and 40s. Added a pair of ultra cool number seven Flanders handlebars with the rubber mounted Flanders risers. Sleek Crocker taillight to finish off the rear end. Now, we wanted to keep the core of this motorcycle with the original 37 knucklehead look. So we've got that 
very awesome and rare 37 knucklehead air cleaner. The 37 knuckle dash, I mean, one year only stuff, guys. Oil gauge, amp gauge, 120 mile an hour speedo. This bike is absolutely built to go. You'd be crazy not to buy a pile of tickets and take a chance at winning a piece of motorcycle history. So with all that said, now we got a pretty darn good idea of what this bike's worth and there's only one question left. Who's gonna take it home?